So can we go to uh, your involvement with spirituality, with Gurdjieff and with... Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Gurdj Gurdjieff came into my life indirectly through his book, All and Everything, that was in my mother's house because somebody had given it to her. Uh -huh. And uh, I remember reading and understanding very little about it. Uh -huh when I was a s in finishing high school mm -hmm. and still being very touched by this figure of a grandfather mm -hmm. as if it were my own grandfather, which I didn't have a mm -hmm. con contact with a grandfather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As if uh, the book did something in my mind. Mm -hmm. And then I, I met somebody who was part of a group, mm -hmm. a Gurdjieff group, and that reinforced my interest. Where, where? In Chile. In Chile. Mm -hmm. But mostly what happened is I came in touch with a very high being, which was a being who I take to be less, no, no less than Gurdjieff, mm -hmm. though he was an artist. Mm -hmm. His name was Totila Albert. Mm -hmm. And what this man who became my friend, mm -hmm. uh, his vision of things, Mm -hmm. was very much like Gurdjieff mm -hmm. without having heard about Gurdjieff. Mm -hmm. For instance, there was a Trinitarian version, vision of things. Everything is threefoldness, not the mm -hmm. Hegelian f uh, threefoldness of mm -hmm. thesis, antithesis and synthesis, mm -hmm. but uh, thesis, antithesis and a synthesizing component mm -hmm. of the psyche. Uh, synthesizing force beyond the yin and yang of a basic polarity, mm -hmm. this triadic ver vision of things. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was in Gurdjieff the idea of objective arts mm -hmm. that you could attune to and get direct transmission from certain mm -hmm. sacred objects. And mm -hmm. in this man, Totila Albert, this coincided with his own relation to certain works of music. Mm -hmm. He claim the direct contact with the spirit of Beethoven, not necessarily mediumistic, but mm -hmm. as it, uh, understanding mm -hmm. the musical, exp the, the, the human background or the spiritual background out mm -hmm. of which Beethoven music uh, emerged. Mm -hmm. And he perceived this so clearly that he channeled us Today I, uh, we, mm -hmm. we use the word channel. He mm -hmm. f he per he took down a text that he heard mm -hmm. in the music, and mm -hmm. this was a very powerful aesthetic influence mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. More than aesthetic, it was a kind of contact with the higher world for me, mm -hmm. as a young man to to meet Sotil Albert and mm -hmm. hear him and get the sense that he was a living prophet, mm -hmm. or was somebody who had gone the great journey mm -hmm. of the soul and mm -hmm. attained the wisdom and also mm -hmm. had this in common with Gurdjieff, the mm -hmm. sense of his objective music, mm -hmm. certain mm -hmm. music is, that we don't perceive. Uh, the fact that mu music transmits uh. objectively certain experiences of the composer and not just whatever is a subjective association. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. This makes me think, this makes me think, remember okay. this and mm -hmm. I feel such and such. No, mm -hmm. I get from the music mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. content. Mm -hmm. This is who claim, was claimed by Gurdjieff as possible and Totila Albert mm -hmm. claimed that this was, mm -hmm. was happening to mm -hmm. him with Mm -hmm. Beethoven and then with other musicians, I mm -hmm. was a witness of mm -hmm. that process. Mm -hmm. So there was such a similarity between Totila Albert, mm -hmm. whom I met mm -hmm. and I had trust in, and, mm -hmm. and Gurdjieff, who mm -hmm. I had not met, that mm -hmm. one thing reinforced the other. Mm -hmm. it, it, they both validated one mm -hmm. another. And I've heard that you also was involved with the Oscar Ichaza group. Like. Yes, because many of the people who were involved with Gurdjieff were hoping to contact somebody from the original school where uh -huh. Gurdjieff had learned. Uh -huh. And it just seemed to be such a person. Uh 
Uh -huh. He claimed to be trained in the same mysterious school that mm -hmm. was connected to the Enneagram. Mm -hmm. And he, it was his legacy to me to make me a specialist in mm -hmm. the use of the Enneagram for, mm -hmm. as a map for psychopersonality. personality. Mm -hmm. I became, and when I created my own work, when I gave shape to the SAT program, mm -hmm. I was very influenced by Gurdjieff, mm -hmm. by the idea of bringing mm -hmm. together the physical, the emotional, the mental, mm -hmm. and the work, work on attention, this mm -hmm. fourth realm. Mm -hmm. And kind of, do you know a life uh, teachers in this uh, Gurdjieff movement, like someone who is really yes. is a leader of force? way or something like that? I have known several teachers. Mm -hmm. I was invited to come to Venezuela mm -hmm. to the house of somebody who was probably Gurdjieff's daughter, mm -hmm. Natalie, Natalie Salzman, or mm -hmm. yeah, the daughter of mm -hmm. Madame Salzman, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who was the center of the school. Mm -hmm. And she, she knew Gurdjieff from childhood on mm -hmm. and had a center in Venezuela that mm -hmm. wanted to do what Gurdjieff had done at Fontainebleau before mm -hmm. the war interrupted it, mm -hmm. which is to have a residential program. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the few people in, in, invited to be part of that. Mm -hmm. It was a short time that I stayed there. Mm -hmm. And I was thrown out because I gave psychedelics to somebody mm -hmm. in that group, mm -hmm. forgetting my commitment not to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is something which trying to <laughs> interrupt, <laughs> so probably we should stop right now. Okay, thank you very much.